Latest Premier League fixtures prove that football is not for the fans. In April 2021, 12 clubs, including six Premier League clubs, broke away from their divisions in an attempt to form a European Super League that would take the place of the Champions League. In a statement, they said, AC Milan, Arsenal FC, Atletico de Madrid, Chelsea FC, FC Barcelona, FC Internazionale Milano, Juventus FC, Liverpool FC, Manchester City, Manchester United Real Madrid CF and Tottenham Hotspur have all joined as founding clubs. It is anticipated that a further three clubs will join ahead of the inaugural season, which is intended to commence as soon as practicable. Going forward, the founding clubs look forward to holding discussions with UEFA and FIFA to work together in partnership to deliver the best outcomes for the new league and for football as a whole. However, after massive fan backlash, all six Premier League clubs withdrew less than 72 hours after they had initially joined, giving the whole show a feel that it was a poorly thought out, poorly executed idea that tried to steal football away from the everyday fan and create corporate structures that defied the jeopardy aspect of relegation that makes domestic football so special. Sky Sports, among others, were chief in their horror at the situation, with Gary Neville offering a passionate and legitimate bombard on the clubs and their owners. Six months on, however, and it seems as though the very thing that English football fans fought for, the ability to go to games, has once again been placed a strong second as the Premier League continued to squeeze every possible minute of football out of the 20 clubs in the division, something shown through the release of the Christmas fixtures. Take Arsenal as a particular example. The Gunners face Manchester United away from home on Thursday 2 December, with an 8.15pm kickoff scheduled for the tie, which is being broadcast on Amazon Prime. There is no public transport back for the 3,000 or so away fans, with the last train leaving Manchester at the beginning of the second half. On travel alone, it proves a logistical nightmare, even before the fact that it is a Thursday evening when many people will have work on both Thursday and Friday is taken into account. The same can be said for the trip to Everton on the subsequent Monday, where the same problems arise. And the trip